Welcome to Hai's channel and today I'm going to explain the movie The Brothers Grimm, released in 2005. Will and Jake Grimm are traveling con artists who use Jake's knowledge of folklore to fool people into paying them to kill monsters in French-occupied Germany during the early 19th century. In Karlstadt they kill a witch's ghost after tricking the village. Italian torturer Cavaldi captures the two and takes them to the French general Delatome. Delatome forces them to solve a mystery. The girls of the small village of Marbaden are going missing and the villagers are convinced that supernatural forces are responsible. The brothers are charged with finding out who is responsible, under the assumption that it is the work of con artists like themselves. They soon discover that it is the work of a real supernatural force, a 500-year-old Thuringian queen stealing young girls to restore her beauty. Long ago, King Childeric I, came to the forest to build a city while his queen experiments with black magic stolen from the pagan locals to gain eternal life. The bubonic plague comes and she builds a high tower to avoid it, while her husband and everyone below her perishes. She needs to drink the blood of twelve young women to regain her beauty. Ten have already been reported missing. The queen is working an enchantment to regain her beauty with the aid of her werewolf huntsman with a magic axe crow familiars and various creatures in the forest. The brothers Grimm, with the help of Angelica, a knowing huntress from the village and sister to two of the missing girls and Cavaldi discover her tower in the woods. After another girl goes missing and all his men are killed by the forest, Cavaldi takes the Grimms and Angelica back to Delatome. Because they have failed, Cavaldi may kill both of the Grimms but after convincing Delatome that the magic in the forest is caused by German rebels, he sends them back while Cavaldi stays behind with Angelica in the village. Jake gets into the tower but another girl named Sasha is captured, despite Angelica and Cavaldi's efforts to save her. When Sasha's body comes up from a well, the werewolf takes her to a tomb. After rescuing Sasha and taking the wolfman's magic axe, the Grimms return to the village. Delatome captures the brothers and believes them to be frauds. French soldiers begin burning down the forest, and Cavaldi represses his sympathy for the brothers, but they are eventually saved by Angelica. The werewolf is revealed to be Angelica's father, who is under the queen's command by a spell. Angelica is drowned by her father, becoming the twelfth victim. The brothers reach the tower while the queen breathes an ice wind which puts out the forest fire. Delatome notices that the Grimms have escaped and goes after them with Cavaldi. When Cavaldi refuses to kill the Grimms, Delatome shoots him but is impaled by Will. The climax ensues with the Mirror Queen's death, caused by Jake shattering the enchanting mirror in the tower. The werewolf transforms into Angelica's father, the woodsman, and destroys the rest of the mirror by jumping out of the window with it and Will, who was trying to destroy the werewolf at all costs. Outside, Cavaldi seems to have survived having donned the Grimm's faux magic armor while the tower falls apart, with Jake surviving by using the queen's mattresses. Jake awakens Angelica with a kiss of true love at Cavaldi's urging, which in turn resurrects the other eleven girls and Will. With the menace gone and their daughters returned to them, the villagers of Marbaden celebrate and give their heartfelt thanks to the brothers Grimm. Cavaldi stays in the village and joins the villagers for the feast. The Grimms decide to pursue a new profession, presumably writing fairy tales. Like and subscribe to the channel if you liked the video, and leave a comment if you want to see your favorite movie on the next one. Peace out.